Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, excuse the setup, I know there's clothes in the back over there, but um, over there is a mess and that's where I normally film. So, anyway. So, I am back with another American Candy video. So this will be called Australian Tries American Candy Part 2 or something like that. And I am so excited. I was hesitant to do another one just because um, I didn't know where I could like get more in a short amount of time. But I found some more things that I hadn't tried yet. So let's get started. So first I'm going to try these Reese's Peanut Butter Cups but in the white chocolate. So I've never tried the white chocolate version of it. So I'm keen to see how it goes. Um, so there's two in here and it just looks like this. It's basically the same packaging but with white chocolate. I'm scared. I love white chocolate and I love these peanut butter cups like separately. So I hope that I like them together. So they come in like the little normal patty thing here and then it's white chocolate obviously. That's a bit too sickly sweet for me. So I'll rate that like a four or a five I think just because they're not that great next let's try sticking the theme of like buttercups peanut butter cups we'll try the butterfinger nestle butterfinger peanut butter cups smooth and crunchy so that's what it looks like there let's give it a whirl so this is what it looks like. That tastes like something. That kind of tastes like a Golden Gate Time ice cream. Not my favorite thing ever, so maybe like a six. I finished it all. <laughs> okay. Something to cleanse the palate. I've never actually tried a Junior Mint. So I have them here today. I've seen them everywhere, but I've just never tried one. They just come in here and they're like that. Holy shit. Oh, they don't look very appetizing. This is what one looks like. Oh, I dropped it. This is what one looks like. A little like dropping from a little animal. Anyway. Oh my God. They are not what I thought they'd be. I thought they'd be quite crunchy on the outside, but they're actually really soft. They like melt in your mouth. They remind me of like an after dinner mint. I could eat all of them, but I'm not going to. I rate them an eight. I'm going to try Twizzlers. Um, we have something very similar to this and I think they're by Wonka. I think we always used to have them at the school canteen. And I'd always get them. So I hope these taste the same as that. They're in the flavor strawberry. Let's just try it. They smell good. What the heck? Yeah. Do I just like tear one off? Yeah. That's what you do. <laughs> okay. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. They're okay. I mean, they're a bit bland. Like, they smell a lot better than they taste. Maybe give that a four. Mm, yeah. A bit underwhelmed with that one. Um, next, I bought the actual, like, bar of a Butterfinger. And I'm pretty sure I've had this once, but I don't think I had a very good impression. So, we'll see if my impression has changed. I can't remember why I didn't like it, but I did like it. <laughs> So it just looks like this. Mm, very peanut buttery. Oh my god. Maybe the one I got last time was stale. Because I think I remember it being like so hard that you couldn't even bite into it properly. This is so flippin' nice. Wow, that's amazing. I rate that a nine out of 10. 
So next I've got the Skittles in Tropical. They have banana berry. I hate banana. They have pineapple passion fruit, mango tango, strawberry, star fruit, and kiwi lime. Maybe I'll try the banana one first just because I don't like banana. That wasn't actually too bad. I think I'm okay with like banana flavored things, but actual bananas I don't like. Next, I'm going to try the kiwi lime. That's really nice. Oh, I don't like the aftertaste. Next is the pineapple passion fruit, which is the blue one. Mmm, that's really nice. And then the, I think this is a strawberry star fruit. Yep, pink one. Oh my God. <laughs> I love that one. Go Tango one. Mango Tangelo. <laughs> mango Tangelo, not Mango Tango. Is the orange one. That tastes a bit too much like orange for me. I love orange juice. I love oranges, but I do not like artificially orange flavored things. I hate it. Um, I would give them a seven out of 10. There are a couple of flavors I didn't really like, so a seven for those Skittles. I'm going to try these cherry flavored Pop-Tarts. So the shop that I went to didn't have um, a big range of Pop-Tarts and there was strawberry unfrosted ones and then there was these cherry ones. So I wanted something frosted because why not? If you're going to get a Pop-Tart, get a Pop-Tart. Okay. I always tell myself I'm not going to do one of these videos again, but then I end up doing it. And then I have all these sweets left over. Oh, this looks so freaking pretty. I love the sprinkles. Oh my god, my earring just fell out. Oh, bye. Oh. Look at the sprinkles. It's like pink frosting and then pink like sugar crystals. You know what? If you don't want something too, what was that? If you don't want something too full on, this is really nice. I like that one. Not as good as the smalls one. Nothing will ever beat that. But if you want like a bit more low key sweetness, that's a nice one. Sorry, my earrings always fall out. It's because they don't come with the backing. Anyway, so I'm going to try the Fifth Avenue Bar. Crap, this sounds like the Butterfinger. Crunchy peanut butter in a rich chocolate coating. So that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to give it a little chomp. So it kind of looks exactly like the Butterfinger. You know what? I'm not 100% sure that this is American though, but this tastes exactly like a Butterfinger. Not as good as it though. Oh wait, I rate those Pop-Tarts a nine and that Fifth Avenue bar probably like a seven, just because I like the flavor, but I like the Butterfinger better. I'm gonna get so fat. I'll try the mint dark chocolate M&Ms. Anything with dark chocolate in the title makes me feel a bit healthier when I eat it. So they come in like a dark green and a light green. Oh wow, they're really minty. Nine, amazing. I'm up to the last three things. I'm gonna try, I think this is a ding dong. This was just at the counter in like, it's a little separate like tub. And there was a Twinkie and then there was Ding Dongs. And I'd already tried Twinkies in my last video. So I thought I'd try a Ding Dong. I think it's kind of the same concept with like a cream filling. Oh, hello. Wow. So that's what it looks like inside. It has a cream filling. 
chocolate on the outside and then a chocolate like cake. I think I'm gonna give that a 10. The inner like fat kid is coming out in me. And I'm gonna eat all of that after this. I'm gonna try this take five. Everything has peanut butter in it. It's a five layer bar. It's called take five. It has milk chocolate, pretzels, peanut butter, caramel, and peanuts. So this is what the packaging looks like. I'm not 100% sure that this is American either. But it was in a section, so I just assumed. Oh, okay, so it comes in like a pack of two. I just took one out. That's so weird. Wow, I like that it has pretzels in it. That's really cool. It has like a sweet and salty taste to it. Probably like a nine. I could definitely finish that. So the last thing I have to try is the Mike and Ike Sunday Sweets. I just thought these looked really cool. They had like all the original ones and then like the tropical ones, but this looked cool. So they have crushed pineapple, cherry on top, vanilla ice cream, caramel drizzle, banana split and chocolate fudge. So I don't really like vanilla now, but I'll try it anyway. So I'm going to try the crushed pineapple, which is the orange one. Mmm, that's nice. Cherry on top. I basically love everything flavoured cherry. Amazing. The white one is vanilla ice cream. That's really good. The banana one. Oh. <laughs> Not too bad. The chocolate fudge one, I think, or this. <gasps> no! Just spilled them all. Mm, I don't know if I like that one. So then this is the caramel one. That's good. That actually tastes like caramel. Wow, that last one. Can you please stay on my tongue forever? I rate that one a 7. It wasn't amazing. I liked the original fruits or the tropical fruits a bit better. So that brings us to the end of the video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed part 2 of my American candy tasting video. Um, if you have any other suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. Um, I hope this wasn't too boring. This is like my first video filmed in like two weeks. Like basically everything that I tried was really yummy. But yeah, I'm happy that I didn't like dislike anything that badly. Except for the Twizzlers, they were not. My earring. They were not that great. So that brings us to the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed this part two of Australian Tries American Candy on my channel. Um, I loved basically everything that I tried. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, I would love to have you here. And yeah, thank you so much for watching again. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.